Oh, okay. Wait a second. Which one's the one you want to Is that a portrait? <laughs> Looks just like me. <laughs> Not lines, but way of way telling. Yeah. So, so Caroline, Chuck Crail, Chuck Dev, Devin Crail, his son, had texted me, A, to see if I'm okay. And then um, he said, My dad needs an axe. Can you get him an axe? Okay, Daddy, put you. I'm walking around barefoot in sweats <laughs> because my feet are sore because I've had gravel in my deck boots oh, while I'm like, while I'm time? evacuating. This is at 6:30, yeah, 6:45. Like first, light, first, first like literally, pretty early, pretty early yeah, the, yeah. So I had just yeah. seen Mark for the first time. Thank you, my love. We we get like literally maybe 20 second hug. Yeah. Like it was literally like you're alive, everyone okay? You yeah. you're okay? Good. That's it. And he went off to go help. And if anything, my regret in all of this, aside from staying and yada, 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 um, was that I had to self-preserve and take care of my circle, mm -hmm. my parents and Lucas, and not be able to go out and continue to help. Um, Mark and I are cut of the same cloth. We're helpers. If there's a fire, we run towards it, where most people run away. Take a picture. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, let me take a selfie. <laughs> Text it to somebody. Yeah. By the way, I, I do understand that on some of my videos that are um, now globally viral, um, there is there is some commentary about my lack of panning and and lack of <laughs> cinematography <laughs> right. skills. Yeah. Right. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's a whole discussion about that. Yeah. Anyway, I die. Put your, put your, put your, put yourself yeah. in my, my boots. Yeah. Anyway, I digress. Um, <laughs> I uh, got the message that we needed an axe. The uh, superintendent of the, 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 the manager of the building project next door um, happened to be walking by. I said, Luke, I need an axe. Do you have an axe? He said, I've got one in the car. He came back uh, a few minutes later. I happened to see Mark. I said, Mark, I, I, I need you to go deliver this axe. Um, and Luke came back not only with an axe, but with work boots because he saw that I was barefoot Aww. and these are so used, nice. used work boots. And as a construction guy, that's not pretty. I don't wear other men's shoes. I don't wear other men's used shoes. <laughs> Those are the most amazing boots I've ever worn. What a yeah. gift. So I get the axe. I hand it to Mark. Um, Mark needs to go up to deliver the axe to the crail so they can cut down the door and I'll hand it off. So I used the axe as a cane for most of the... <laughs> I actually felt kind of guilty because I was actually <laughs> transferring people back and forth from the freeway across where I had seen you guys do that mud and that was my form, one of my four scump moments where they started taking pictures of me and putting me on, you know... Time and all the magazine things because it was like oh, I was the only place they could get the media to because they couldn't yeah. get into the depth. So I was like the edge Front of the center. epicenter there, right? So I'm using this axe, getting the you know, and actually there was a couple of incidents I'll tell you later about these. So I figure after doing that for a while, I go, oh my god, I I'm supposed to get this axe up to this guy. His house is friggin' filling up, right. and I have the key to opening up the like all of a floodgate. Like, oh yeah, this axe. I'm like, oh, yeah. that's, oh, Marco, that's right. Marco <laughs> trusted me with the axe that I, axe that I could get it up there, right? So I'm like, oh shh, I better get up there. I thought the axe is what you wanted. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I start bolting up there. I head up there, and all of a sudden I see power lines down, the water's everywhere, <sighs> and then I start smelling gas, like mm -hmm. natural gas seeping. I'm like going. Yeah. Uh, that guy's not getting his axe. <laughs> so I go. But you got most of the way there. I got, I got, I got up the and way. This is where. This is this is on where? Olive Mill. He was walking up Olive oh, Mill. Oh, oh, four houses up the mall. Yeah. Oh, okay. uh, four so I turn around and come back, and Marco had also told me. He said, if you get a chance while you're up there, come back. There's a 91 year old woman in the back of all those little white little apartments, and could you check on her? And I'm all. Sure, I'll, you know, just uh, here, make, my, right make the rounds, yeah. right? Yeah. You know, and so I swing back by, and it was kind of funny because all of a sudden there's 
people coming out of these little apartments there. And there's one, and we all know her as the mayor of Montecito, is, is Gloria. Gloria Heber. Gloria Heber. She has a little hat. She has little gloves yeah. on. <laughs> Listen to this. And she's sitting there, and she's out, and she's all, oh. she, I'm looking at her, I'm like going, Gloria. And she's all, oh. And, and she's got a little three-by-three three step. The mud's all the way around, but she's sweeping up the top of the step. And making sure it's clean in the whole bed. And I'm looking at him and going, oh, around picking up trash on Coast Village Road. All day long. And, and down by the Biltmore. She walks around picking That's what up she trash. Does. Yeah, and she's, yeah. Yeah. And two water bottles. Yeah. yeah. She's just, she's great. She's awesome, yeah. you know. And she's, you know. Classic. So, and I know her. She had a little, little, little shop, little tea or a trinket shop down by our bike shop way back in the day. Um, so we relate. Wait, um, MT. Me no, it wasn't me It wasn't no, me was called, I, I don't, I, I have to ask her what the name of it was, but it was there forever. Okay. And she put her daughter through college and all bit through this thing. Anyway, so we, we always have that conversation. She looks and she goes, I am so glad you were here checking on me. And I'm all, are you okay? So, oh, I'm great. I'm all, well, it'd be a good idea. I'm going to, I, I don't want to, you know, scare anybody here, but we obviously, I, we don't know if it's going to happen again or what, but we're, things are looking okay at the moment, but it'd be a good idea to figure out how to get out of here. Okay. So I'm, I'm really sweeping yeah. <laughs> With her gloves on. I'm, I'm, I'm carrying an axe. I got mud all over me. And I'm all, you know, and, she, she, and, and, and she's, she's getting, she's all clean. And I'm all, it might be good. I, I said, it might be good to put on clothes that you don't care are going to get muddy. I, I, said, I said, you're going to get muddy. I said, whatever it is, just plan on getting muddy. So I go, I'm going to kind of trudge through here and take a look and see which is going to be the easiest way to get out. And as I'm going through, my boots are getting pulled off. I'm all, yeah. I'm all, yeah, I'm all you know what's a good idea? I'm all, get a broom or something you can use for like a cane or a pole yeah. because balancing in this stuff's not easy. So I'm talking to her and then there's another guy next door and then there's three people here. They're all, oh, hey, could you check on our mother in the back room, back over there? I go, is she 91 years old? And they're all, yeah. I'm all, what's her name? And I, do you remember what her name is? You call her know, Esther. So, <laughs> Esther, yeah. So I, I'm, all, I'm all, is it Esther? And they're all, yes, it's Esther. I'm all, okay, I'm all, there's three of them. I'm all, you guys haven't checked on her? And all, no, <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> I'm like going, wow, well, okay, what's this all about? It's like, yeah, I'm like going, they're all fine here. And they're like, you, could you check on Esther? It's been three hours. <laughs> so I wander back and I'm looking. There's just a fence. And then there's kind of a little gate. And it's what it's converted garage <laughs> that Esther's in. It's an illegal rental. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. And a very nice Technical. one. But, it, and, and, you know, but it's small. And it's, it, it was a garage. So I go through the gate. And I'm going back up there and knock on the door. And I was like, yeah, and I'm all, is, are you Esther? Yeah, and I'm all, uh, Esther, there's some, you know, a lot of things are happening out here. <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> Mom, I'm, I'm here to help you. And she goes, go away. <laughs> and I'm all, well, Esther, it, there's, there's, I don't want to scare you, but there's a FUD going on out here. And I said, it's, it's, it looks like everything's okay right now. Are you dry in there? And she, yes. I'm all, is there any mud? No! <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try to pitch her in there. I'm like going, wow, I'm all well Esther, I'm all I'm checking the door and she's all, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm just trying to, um, she's all, is it, I'm all, is, could could you unlock it? No, I'm not unlocking it! <laughs> This is a better version than Marco's. <laughs> Come on. Well, Esther, I go, it really, right now, it would be really, there's a chance we might have to have you get out. I am not leaving there. <laughs> I'm all, I'm like, I go, you don't understand. I said, there's a chance. I said, it'd be much better if you just unlock the door. I am not unlocking my door. <laughs> Come on. Okay. And I'm like, thinking about this. I'm all, think, I'm all okay, well. Um, and I look around, I'm like, okay, how's Esther going to get out of here? And I go, okay. And I, I kind of climbed around. I had already been to CVS to kind of figure out what they're, I didn't want to lead people into the wrong direction and get them trapped. So I already knew CVS and yeah. that back gate was kind of a little bit lower and less mud. So I'm all looking, I go, oh, there's a gate right here, but it's locked. I'm like, oh, okay. I go, Esther, I'm going to take the lock. Oh, what are you going <laughs> to Daughter. Come on, come on, <laughs> take this lock. I have an axe. At you. you have an axe. <laughs> come on. Wow. 
And not, and not, and it actually took me, it took me about three swings. <laughs> She's like, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm like, oh, I'm here to help you. So it's a man in my yard with an axe. Okay, I was not born yesterday. You're a man in my yard with an axe. Anyway, so I knocked the lock off. I opened the, that gate and I just said, you, you, if, if, if somebody comes to help you, Tell them to go through the gate, go that way, and the whole bit. It was just one of those things. That I I wander over and, and I look. Well, and then I wander back to up to three people. I said, "Yeah, I think Esther's okay." I go, She's a little grouchy. Like, oh, yeah, I was up at our second floor balcony, yeah. and I saw the fireman. Oh, carrying, carrying her. her. <laughs> and she was yeah. she was Mad. pissing pissing vinegar the whole way. <laughs> and I was on the phone with my sister.